This is John Hutchinson from BJ Books. I'm here at the beautiful Millennium Resort in Scottsdale, Arizona. I've come here to the Clive Cussler Convention Society 6th Annual Convention. People come here from all over the world to celebrate all things Cussler. We're out here anxiously waiting for the arrival of Clive Cussler. In previous years, he's arrived in one of his classic cars, uh, except for when we were in Charleston, and he arrived in a replica of the Hunley, the Confederate submarine which he and Numa discovered some years ago. <laughs> As you can see, Clive and Dirk have just arrived in one of Clive's classic cars, and everybody's pretty excited to see him here. We're going to move inside now to the cocktail party, the greet and meet, and uh, we'll catch a few people in there, and you'll get to meet a few of the authors. I'm here with Carrie Fry, who is the coordinator for the Clive Cussler Collector Society Adventure Rider Competition. Carrie, could you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, yeah, sure can. Uh, we've got this year 24 uh, authors submitted their manuscripts. Uh, it has to be action adventure, has to be original, uh, has to have characters that are original. And uh, so we had eight panel members uh, review the 24 manuscripts, went through a a large process of looking at things like pacing and motivation and character and plot line uh, and graded each manuscript and we actually got it down to a top five uh, and tonight we are going to be uh, announcing uh, the winner. Well we look forward to see who wins tonight. Thanks for your time. Thanks. The winner is Ivan Karatanov. I'm sitting here with New York Times bestselling author Jack DeBrule. Good to see you again, Jack. Good to see you, John. How you doing? I'm doing well. Good. Uh, recently, uh, you hit the top of the charts with a book called Silent Sea. Can yes. you tell the viewers a little bit about that book? Uh, the, the premise behind it is uh, uh, the nation of Argentina has become militarized again, and they have designs on taking over part of Antarctica that has vast oil reserves. So with the help of the Chinese, they want to they gotta invade the most sacred land in the, in the world, and it's up to the corporation to stop them. Well, it's real nice seeing you again, and thanks for the time. Thank you, John, very much. I'm here with Grant Blackwood and Clive Kessler, and uh, talk about Lost Empire. Just opened at number four on the New York Times bestseller list, and that's got to feel pretty good. What do you think? I love it. Clive's happy I'm happy. Yeah, very happy to start at four. So this is your second Margot no novel, yes. working with Clive, yes. uh, how did it feel? It was uh, awesome. Well, you know, I put myself under a little too much pressure and got behind, but I love the book and Clive's happy, so I'm happy. Wonderful. You've, uh, you've got another one in the works? You're working on another one? Just started. And I, I think Clive probably got the pages this morning, so. Yeah, it's got, it's got a great concept. I, I'm anxious to see how it all turns out. Well, the, it must be kind of interesting working with all of these young upstarts. Oh, it's great fun. They do most of the work, you know. <laughs> I just come in and edit, you know, maybe a right rides here and there, but they do the 99% of the work. Well, we're looking forward to them, and I appreciate you taking the time to speak with us for a minute. As you can see, we had another great time here at the Kessler Convention. Many of our old friends, new friends, the great authors, and a good time was had by all. We hope to see you next year at the Clive Kessler Society Annual Convention.